بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل على سيدنا مولانا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه ومن ولا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Imagine if you saw someone that resembled Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Resembled him so much, how would your heart feel? What would you think? You would just want to run up to that person and embrace them. Today I'm going to tell you about the life of Sayyiduna al-Hasan radiallahu anhu. Sayyiduna al-Hasan is the grandson of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He is the son of Fatima al-Zahra radiallahu anha and the son of Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu anhu. He is a member of Ahl Bayt. He is one of the five Khulafa al-Rashidun, the rightly guided Khalifas. He is also the master of the youth of Jannah. For Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said of him that he is Sayyid al-Shabab al-Jannah. Al-Hasan radiallahu anhu was born in Medina in the middle of Ramadan in the third year Hijri. He was born in the household of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and when he was born, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in his excitement and in his happiness, had a ram slaughtered. And then later on, had the hair of Al-Hasan radiallahu anhu shaved, and then the weight of that hair given away in sadaqah in silver. Now Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was told by all how much Al-Hasan radiallahu anhu resembled his grandfather. And because of this, there was this tremendous, tremendous love between grandfather and grandson. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would often say and plead with Allah. He would say, Oh Allah, I love him. So love those who love him. He was so attached to Al-Hasan that he وسلم, would often say, who worries him has also worried me. He would also say, وسلم, Hasan is from me and I am from him. So these are examples of the deep relationship that Al-Hasan radiallahu anhu had with his grandfather, Sayyiduna Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, a beautiful relationship. And Sayyiduna al-Hasan radiallahu anhu grew up in this household, grew up in the house of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, grew up playing on the lap of Rasulullah alayhi wa sallam, standing on his shoulders sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And it is well known in many documented hadith that even while Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would pray or would rise up the mimbar for the khutbah, there would be his grandchildren with him, radiallahu anhuma. Al-Hasan radiallahu anhu was a man of many characteristics. Amongst them, he was very lordly and he attracted the obedience of others. He was also modest extremely modest. It is said that he went on Hajj 25 times during his life, and each time he went on Hajj, he went on foot, refusing to ride any animals. He was also very brave, radiallahu anhu. During the great fitna and the trials of Uthman bin Affan, radiallahu anhu, when he was the Khalifa, it was Al-Hasan and his brother Al Hussein radiallahu anhuma, who guarded the door of Uthman bin Affan radiallahu anhu. They guarded his door with swords at the ready to protect him from any of the harm and the opposition that came towards him. And he was a man of tranquility and dignity. Often people would abuse his lineage 
because there was those who were jealous of his lineage, and they would say things about him or about his father, Sayyiduna Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu anhu, but Al-Hasan radiallahu anhu would always stay quiet and dignified. He would show this sakina, this peace and tranquility, despite the things that were said about him or about his noble family. And he was very generous. He would give to the poor. He would give and distribute all the time alms and sadaqa to those in need. And he was well known for this. But his life was also one of great challenge. But he placed his reliance on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. After the death of his father, Sayyiduna Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu anhu al-Hasan became the Khalifa. The people of Kufa supported him and supported his, his leadership. However, there was another group in Damascus and groups elsewhere that were not supportive of his Khilafah. And they raised their opposition towards him. But Sayyiduna al-Hasan radiallahu anhu, who loved the ummah of his grandfather, Sayyid, Sayyiduna Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, because he loved this ummah and he loved the unity of the Muslims, he decided to leave the Khilafah and step down simply to safeguard the unity of the Muslims. He was not after leadership. Rather, he was after the welfare and, and the sanctity and the security of the Muslims. And once again, placing his trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so this is the grandson of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who resembled him not only in his features, but resembled him in many of his characteristics. And so we learn from his life, radiallahu anhu, we learn that despite the troubles and despite, despite the opposition that one may face, we have beautiful qualities and characteristics that we wear. And this is what makes us truly stand out above others. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.